as far as my my shows, uh, there's been a, been a few good ones. I think uh, 2002, you know, uh, ministry opened for Iron Maiden at Donington, <laughs> and that was like that was a festival that I used to read about when I was a little kid in like Circus Magazine, Hit Parader, and there I am opening for one of my favorite bands ever in front of 80,000 people. I mean, I almost started crying. It was really, really bad. Not to mention I had a really bad hangover that day, but uh, probably one of the, I think, definitely top few shows I ever played was that one. Um, wow. There's been some good ones. Most of them are festival ones. I couldn't even, I couldn't pick one out. That was probably the highlight, I would have to say, the one with Iron Maiden, definitely. And then we weren't even headlining. Um, this main tour that we're getting ready to do is gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, but uh, I guess I could say Sydney, Australia, 1995, 170, 75,000 people. Uh, just the sheer energy of walking out on stage to that, because I think I was one of the first ones out on stage. And I remember this because I remember it was extremely hot. And I remember taking my guitar and I remember just going like that to check it. And uh, the whole crowd, as far as you could see, were people and they all went like this back and then forward. And they came back, they came forward so hard that my hair blew back. Like, like Steve Vai style was fan, you know? And uh, uh, man, it, it was awesome. I mean, like I I got nervous. My legs started shaking a little bit. And I had to like, I had to walk it off. But uh, uh, those top shows I ever played, definitely. Hopefully uh, though, uh, next few years, I can say better ones, you know? Uh, for rigor mortis, uh, Ozfest, uh, a few years back uh, in Dallas, Texas, uh, being our hometown, you know, for us to walk out there in the middle of the afternoon and play in front of like, you know, 40,000 people, uh, that was pretty awesome. Because, um, you know, certain people write you off and there you come, here you come out, you know, 15 years later or whatever and, and play play like better than you did you know, when you were in your 20s, that's a pretty cool thing. So that, that was, I have to say, our best show with that, my best show with that band.